What are the most common neurotoxins in food? Neurotoxins are chemicals that interfere with the normal function of the nervous system by damaging brain cells and tissues. Chemicals found in food that are or may be associated with neurotoxicity include mercury, aluminum, lead, ethanol, aspartame, monosodium glutamate, known as MSG, and diacetyl. 1. Mercury and Neurotoxicity Mercury is a chemical element classified as a transition metal because it becomes liquid at room temperature. It is used in several applications such as thermometers, fluorescent lamps, barometers, light switches, blood pressure monitors, and float valves. Mercury exists in different forms, inorganic mercury, including metallic mercury, mercury vapor and mercurous or mercuric salts, and organic mercury, such as compounds with mercury combined with carbon atoms, including methyl, ethyl, phenyl, or similar groups. Mercury toxicity is due to alteration in the structure of proteins that are essential for the function of the body's cells, including the cells of the brain. Mercury mainly affects the brain through its vapor as it is easily absorbed through the lung and the mucous membranes and reaches the brain through blood circulation. The other forms of mercury are easily absorbed by the gut and accumulate into Swayzander Gansoff, the body. Severe and chronic exposure to mercury can manifest with mercurial tremors, depression, anxiety, amnesia, insomnia, extensive irritability, numbness, muscles weakness, delusions, and hallucinations. Exposure to mercury is also due to the consumption of mercury-contaminated seafood. 2. Aluminum and Neurotoxicity Aluminum is a chemical element that is widely distributed in the environment. It is used in many applications such as household items, example, cooking utensils, building and construction, transportation, and packing. Aluminum toxicity is mainly due to its action in promoting oxidative stress resulting in free radicals, which damage the DNA off nerve cells, causing their death. Other effects involve alterations in the structure of proteins and lipids necessary for the structure and function of the cells. Aluminum reaches and accumulates in the brain through the blood circulation, extracellular fluid, which is the fluid surrounding the cells, and cerebrospinal fluid. The accumulation of aluminum has been associated with neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, dialysis-associated encephalopathy, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, and autism. Exposure to aluminum happens through drinking water and food contaminated by aluminum in cans, cookware, and foil. Some medications, such as antacids, contain aluminum. 3. Lead and Neurotoxicity Lead is a chemical element that is still used in many applications and industries such as batteries, shipbuilding, light industry, and machinery manufacturing. Lead is the most toxic heavy element causing poisoning known as satanism. Lead accumulation in tissues generates free radicals that cause damage to the DNA of nerve cells and other cells of the body causing their death. Lead accumulation in cells also interferes with gene expression and the function of enzymes involved in vitamin D synthesis and cell membrane structure. In children, lead poisoning is associated with developmental disabilities resulting in learning difficulties, hearing loss, fatigue, irritability, vomiting, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, and weight loss. In adults, lead poisoning manifests with symptoms such as memory loss, pain, numbness of the extremities, headache, joint and muscle pain, abdominal pain, constipation, and fatigue. Exposure to lead can be associated with the consumption of contaminated crops or drinking water. 4. Ethanol and Neurotoxicity Ethanol or alcohol is an organic chemical compound that is naturally produced by sugar fermentation or chemically through ethylene hydration. Ethanol is used in many applications such as the production of alcoholic beverages, medical usage as an antiseptic, and as fuel and solvent. Ethanol induces brain damage by increasing the excitability of neurons by the neurotransmitter glutamate, known as excitotoxicity. Although at first, ethanol inhibits the receptor of glutamate, which reduces the excitability of neurons by glutamate, chronic alcohol consumption, results in the receptor becoming insensitive to ethanol action and very sensitive to excitation by glutamate. 
Alcoholism or excessive consumption of alcohol can lead to a disorder known as Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, characterized by encephalopathy due to brain lesions, impaired vision, ataxia, and impaired memory. Alcoholism is also associated with a loss of neuropsychological performance such as learning, memory, abstracting, information processing, problem-solving, and visuospatial and perceptual motor functioning. 5. Aspartame and Neurotoxicity Aspartame is an artificial sweetener used as a sugar substitute in beverages and foods. Although its safe use is supported by many food agencies around the world, the effect of aspartame on the body, including the brain, is controversial. Some studies reported that aspartame can elevate the levels of phenylalanine and aspartic acid in the brain causing the inhibition of the synthesis and release of the neurotransmitters, dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin. Other studies support its role as a stress inducer that causes the production of an excess of free radicals. 6. Monosodium glutamate, MSG, and neurotoxicity. MSG is one of the most used artificial additives found in canned vegetables and soups and processed meat. Although its safe use is supported by international bodies governing food additives, the effect of MSG on the body, including the brain, is controversial. 7. Diacetyl and Neurotoxicity Diacetyl is an organic compound that naturally occurs as a product of fermentation. However, it is also synthesized by chemical manufacturers as a buttery flavoring additive for use in foods such as popcorns, candies, and baked goods. Although diacetyl has been associated with occupational lung disease, its effect on the brain is controversial. In conclusion, although evidence of the involvement of mercury, aluminum, lead, and ethanol in neurotoxicity is well supported by research and clinical studies, the involvement of food additives including aspartame, MSG, and diacetyl in neurotoxicity is controversial and requires clear scientific evidence. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share for more videos like this.